Howdy folks, Turbo here. Welcome back to Railroads Online. So in the last episode, we got the track laid over to the ironworks. So today we're gonna just run the train over with the mogul. And I'm gonna try to go fairly quickly and we'll see how that goes. The track is nice and straight. So we're gonna try to do kind of a speed run and see if we survive. You know, things get a little goofy sometimes going fast. It's all opened up here. Got good pressure. Got good air. That's off. I believe I filled up the water tank at the, after the last episode. Yeah, we got. I don't know if it's full, but we got a lot of water. Really need some kind of indicator on that. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Just looking down through the hole, whether it's filling or not. All right, let's get started. We got the switch thrown. Let's see if we can get in F few. There we go. So we've got all the cars lined up. Let's just make sure we are in fact coupled to everything. He's out the coupler slack. It looks like everything's moving. Yeah, I think the uh, bars on the back there are moving. I could just leave those, but I thought it'd be fun just to take the whole train and see what happens. <laughs> I could have just left those over by the sawmill. All right, let's start bringing the speed up. And then we'll really give it the juice once we get on this straightaway. Just a couple big straightaways. Should be able to check out the uh, map. Link is in the description. I'll show you uh, just how long this is. long and straight these curves are pretty broad so let's open up the mogul and let her talk a little bit of wiggling around That should be 80%. There we go. Miscounted my clicks. Or my key presses. We got a little bit of a wiggle here. Some of this could stand to be redone. Then we get a pretty long straightaway. Is that zoomed out? Yeah, that was zoomed out. Keep an eye on the train back there. As so we come whipping through the corners. I see cordwood cars. It's a good sign. And even though this is straight, there's still a lot of wiggling. I don't know if they're modeling like individual wheel traction or it just has enough room in the grade to bounce around that much. These straightaways, we can kind of get a good look at what's going on underneath. Yeah, I think it's just bouncing. There's so much slop in the gauge. All right, easing into this corner. I had a comment, I think it was on the last video. Uh, I don't have the name in front of me, but I was talking about making easements, basically, where you ease in with like a 5-degree curve and then a 10-degree curve and then, then your final curve. That's definitely a thing with high-speed railroads. I don't know if they really bothered with that on these 
you know, slower, narrow gauge railroads. Uh, it's also recommended to do that in model railroading, just to uh, help the trains operate better. I did not do that. I pretty much just went from straight to whatever. And I don't think it does much natural easement. Yeah, there's there's this. <laughs> no excuses. Don't know what happened there. So it's a pretty fast run at 80%. Moving right along. You can see there's the ironworks right up ahead. So that's pretty quick. So we've got four coal. I think we have 13. 13 of those? I don't know. We have a lot of iron on the back. No idea what the tonnage is on this train, but it's fairly substantial. I might have to try a 100% run sometime. Oh, there's a... Eh, there's a crossing I forgot to delete. We don't get any clicky-clack when you run over that. We need some clicky-clack. Or else the engine's just covering it up. All right, let's start easing back on the regulator. Yeah, we probably did have clicky clack. I just couldn't hear it over the engine. I think it's just generic clicky clack. Yeah, I didn't hear any extra going over the switch. Uh, let's see, this is the coal unload right here, isn't it? We better get some brakes on. No, we both, they unload both here. All right, cool. So we'll ease up. It holds a hundred iron, a thousand coal. Dang. Quite a bit. Probably ought to clear out some more of these trees just so I can see what I'm doing. I need to lay down my normal little stone groundworks to tell where I'm spotting, too. That's pretty close. Let's get out and take a look. I'm also going to take this opportunity to throw some wood in. Yeah, that's pretty close. Can't really see where the coal is. Okay, so it's just a little left of center from this perspective. So let's do something like this. Lose your cursor every time. <laughs> you can just get it back by hitting G twice. And then the rails are pretty much right here. Now, some people count like wheel turns and stuff. I, I like having these. Should help a little bit. All right. Always a good idea to save. So let's save. Now that we're over here. And see if we can get some coal unloaded. Here we go. It's counting up. See this polygon slowly raising up. There we go. And we're not quite close enough for steel, but I think if we pull up to the next coal car, we'll be able to unload both. We'll go ahead and hop in here. And actually, before we do that, I'm going to cut some more trees. Don't you hit my train. I just want to be able to see what I'm doing. All 
All right, let's ease on forward. So we're gonna open up the regulator. I'm off on the brakes. Be glad when we get keyboard control for the brakes. Drift on a little bit forward. Not a lot of work. Then we're lined up. Okay, cool. They lined it up, so these match. That's nice. Now we got three iron, 20 coal. The life of the solo railroader running back and forth. It's going to get progressively harder <laughs> as we pull forward. And yeah, I could build a yard and have a switcher, you know, at the industries, but I may do so that may do that sometime, but that would also drastically increase the amount of time it took. It might be easier, but it would take a lot more time. Shuffling the cars around and doing the couplers. Right, so it's doing something because it's taking coal and iron. So we should be getting goods on the other side. I had to do it. I hadn't blown the whistle yet. Guess about there. See how well my guess worked. It's close. So it's a little far back. So what I'm going to do actually put another here just a little bit back to kind of try to match that all right last load of coal lots more iron to go all right so we've used six coal so far Seven? Did it use one more coal? Yeah, I'm not sure what the ratio is. What's one of the iron missed? Didn't. Now we just need to ease the next car up to the middle of that. Some more trees in the way. But just a little early. Fall on my train, okay, trees. Lots of running and getting our cardio in. What I probably ought to do is just set it really, see if I can get it going really slow, and then I can just sit down here and unload. That, uh, that works better with the Heisler, the low speed stuff. I'll try it with the uh, Mogul. That off. Already wanting to move. Put that on like 
2%. We'll see if we can keep the train rolling. Now I gotta run before the next car gets there. Run! I don't know if we're gonna make it. Quick, unload. Yeah, that car made it. I think we might have missed one. We do it a little closer. There we go. Oh boy, I should have should have done one percent. We're really cooking now. They're actually hitting me and moving me. All right, last one. Run! <laughs> So I think we need box cars for the tools. Um, I don't remember. Don't we need like the log cars for the pipe? It's a careful balancing act running along the hoppers. Pretty sure we need the uh, log cars for the pipe. Oh, I don't think we can do anything here. But I'll double check. Let's ease to a stop. Alright, we got 21 steel pipes. Got a bunch of tools here. 21? Okay, so it makes one of each. It's probably one to one. But I think I missed some of the iron. Let's just go take a quick look. Uh, yeah. So we need our log guards over here. I should have brought some of them. Wasn't thinking, uh, but we need box cars anyway. And how much money we got? We're up to forty-two hundred dollars. So we've got plenty of log cars. We can bring those over for the pipes. But let's take a look. Box cars are kind of expensive, aren't they? Yeah, they're nine fifty a piece. Uh, I wonder how much they hold. Let's get at least a couple. Oh, I forgot to number it. Dummy. <laughs> oh well, I'll figure it out. I can number it with the script. Um, I think we're up to, is it six? We'll go with 602. There we go. Look at that. Nice big billboard. So we could get four boxcars. I'm trying to remember how many they hold. I'm not sure how many they hold, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, but I think that'll do for this video. It's just kind of a short one. Just running over to the ironworks. And we'll have to get some boxcars and log cars over here. And we'll see. I, th I think they fixed the loading of the tools. I know there were some issues with that earlier. I think I saw in the patch notes that they had worked on that. So hopefully it'll load normally. But, you know, we'll, we'll do a save before we load. It's always the smart thing to do. And that way we can always just start over. Relay the track if we need to. Get that moving. I gotta run over here and throw the switch. So next episode, we'll either be doing, we'll be servicing some industry. I don't know if we'll be coming over here, or if we'll be running some other industries to make money. But yeah, the process continues. We're getting closer to done, and I didn't put my groundwork in there. For shame. Gotta make this look all fancy. So we just have the uh, the oil field and then the refinery left. We will have hit all the industries. We're getting close. We're like, what, 21 episodes in? Something like that? It's been fun. We're still uh, working away. I will catch you in the next episode.
Take care.